Vita Feliz Let's vacation, let's go somewhere overseas Took the polo off and switched the soccer all right, with well, my guy Sean Mary. How you doing, Sean? What's up, man? How you doing? Doing blessed, blessed, blessed. So I know you're a Nike guy, mm -hmm. and you've always been dabbling around with sneakers. I know you had your set of P's, your own set of like just exclusives. I got what a lot of stuff, yeah. So what is your favorite sneaker? I mean, you know, uh, you know, it's funny though. Uh, I mean, I, 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 my first custom sneakers were uh, for Nike, especially were with team shoes, but about team edition joints, but in a pair of Jordans, but. Mm -hmm. Air Force Ones. Okay. I had a lot of custom Air Force Ones. People don't even know about it. And I, I uh, it's funny though. I was in my closet. You know, I got so many shoes over the years. Though, you know, stuff started piling up, and, and it's like before you know it, you don't know where stuff is. And uh, man, I, I, I got, I can't wait to open these boxes once I move into my house, so I can just put everything on display. I got, I'm, I got a, I got a full sneaker closet. I'm doing. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, you know, one thing about you and your generation that, you know, there was a lot of, there weren't too many guys that were 6'7", six, 6'8", six, or 6'9", that were handling a rock of that. You know, you had the Scotty Pimpers of the world, yeah, yeah. guys of you of that nature. Yeah, yeah. And now, it seems like everybody in that high range is doing that. Um, if you were in this generation today, man, would that be something that you would thrive on more as a player or like the three-point shot rule would be some things that you would thrive on? I mean, I think my game would fit perfectly with what's going on right now. Every, all, all facets of it. You know, I think, uh, you know, when I was in Phoenix, I did, I had to do a little bit more than I, than I had to do with certain other teams I went to. You know, that was a, that was a, a part of Justin I did for myself, you know what I'm saying? So I can, uh, so sometimes you, it's not about you just going out there scoring for your team, it's about what, what, what other intangibles can you bring? Because a lot of guys can just go out and get shots up and, just, and get score, but like, can you do any other things to help the team win? Because a lot of times they might need you to score. They may need you to do something else at night. You know what I'm saying? Because you got something else got to go on. But it's about bringing bringing every facet of the game you can to the, to help. It. Uh, with, with the game being such a fast pace now, everybody's shooting more threes and uh, dunking more now. It's all excitement. It's almost like that's what it is. It's like almost like a backcourt game now. All right. So obviously you played in an era where there was guys like Dirk Nowitzki, you know, the Andre Karolinkos of the world. The Steve power Nash. four was the most dominant position in the league at the okay. time. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's that simple. You know, and now it's it's guard heavy. Okay. So with that being said, though, it's a different kind of game now. And the bigs now are some of the bigs now that are the elite bigs are point guards, yeah. are point bigs. So they're bringing the ball up, and it, so like we didn't have none of that. You had a, a couple of guys that were able to do it, but they wouldn't. They could do it on a, re a regular basis. These guys are doing it on a regular basis now. That's the difference of the game. How does it feel, you know, obviously to be part of history in Dallas? Obviously, you know, there's always history with winning championships, but you're a part of the first and basically right now the only team to ever win a championship. What does that feel like? I'm pretty sure you walk around the city, and that's just much love for you as a player, right? At that time, right? oh man, you know, you, you, uh, you, man, I'm here, man. This is it. This is this is, this is what this is what it's about. You know, I think, uh, you know, being a part of an organization that in a community that, that that understands what you sacrifice and how everybody sacrifices to come together to, to be on the same picture and, and envision the same goal, and the same dreams. Man, it's pretty special, man. You know, you can't put a price on it, man. Uh, just to see and the love here is is phenomenal, man. You know, you know, I've been some great places. You know, I can. The fan base in the NBA is is, un, is is unprecedented. But at the same time, though, when you're able to to reach your ultimate goal of winning the championship and uh, and, and 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 do it with style and grace, though, it, it's so much love in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So much more love in it. I appreciate you.